You do I, comedy. Yeah, exactly. You're a former radio host. Hopefully, yes. you continue with your radio. Uh, that's, well, that's a good thing you're, you're, you brought that up because um, the the gentleman that you mentioned um, on your radio show today, Ronan, he will be helping me and gearing me to do my own little private podcast. So we're gonna do that, and um, I should probably start having some um, uh, episodes or uh, premiering um, next week or the following week. And it's about relationship, dating, um, um, recipes, if you learn how to want to be a cook. Um, just pretty much, it's like a lifestyle show. So, yeah, great. yeah, That's yeah, awesome. yeah. Do people come to you and say, how do I be funny? How do I write mm -hmm. a joke? And what do you tell them? Oh, you know what's so funny? Some people say that sometimes you have to be born with the gift. Um, for me, I believe that uh, you can, it's you just have to have an ear for it or uh and you have to pretty much um know what's funny um and and some people definitely have a talent some people are gifted that way and some people could basically you you can't go up to uh, uh, uh and practice i mean practice does build to it if you want to be a comedian yes you can go to open mics and keep on practicing and that's how like you have jerry seinfeld and and richard pryor because they you know they go out every night and do open mics or go on stage and keep on trying the same and trying the same joke. And um, if you ever seen the movie The Comedian, going to the comedy store or the or the Laugh Factory, all that is like going to a gym. It's just like keep on practicing. Um, yeah. If you're definitely interested, if you don't have a funny bone and you're not funny, definitely you can go to uh, an open mic at any spots. So you can go on online, it's openmics.com, and they'll show you all a list of places and you can you know, practice your craft if you're interested in comedy and feel what it's like to talk in front of a lot of people. It's better than doing a eulogy, so yeah. <laughs> Since a lot of comedians come from a lot of darkness, mm -hmm. and usually that's how they developed yes. this skill to yeah. be able to make people laugh. Yeah, yeah. What about those days when things aren't going well? You get that parking ticket, oh my somebody gosh. cuts you off in their Beamer I, exactly, on the 405. Exactly. How do you psych yourself up and exactly. go to that happy place again? Ex exactly. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it, it really is. I mean, comedy is really, it, it's really, it, it can get really depressing, um, uh, which is the worst thing to have a, a, a bar or like to serve drinks to comedians and you know um but yeah i mean the best comedians they come from pain um and that's what create laughter i mean uh being from a family a, a big family and being from uh, my family who's who's jamaican um you know we came from you know like about six of us in like a, a one bedroom apartment you know and so like everybody had to fight for a corner as a bedroom you know like like that's how you know, taking that pain and, and, and making it funny, you know, at the, at, the, uh, at the dinner table and stuff like that. So yeah, um, it really does come from pain. Um, and if you watch some comedians, um, you could see like, you know, they can keep that straight face and tell a joke and you're like, that's just funny. How come he's not laughing at that? But it's just because he's, he, he, he's taking that pain and, and making you see his reality and making you see his world, so yeah. How do you get yourself booked at comedy clubs in LA? Yeah. Are there open mic nights where you can kind of try yourself out? And then... you you pretty much have to be a, a comedy whore. You have to really <laughs> give yourself out for free. I mean, seriously, until something comes up. I mean, that's what I've been doing all my life until you develop a name and he's like, this kid's great. And then from there, a manager sees you or an agent sees you in a comedy club. And then from there, they, they represent you and they take 10% and a manager take 15% and they build your name to be, you know, for you to be the next Dane Cook or the next Kevin Hart or the next Steve Wright, you know? And how do you not quit? Oh, uh, um, Eddie Murphy quit comedy because he he's he's in the, Eddie Murphy, Adam Sandler, um, um, Rob Schneider, a lot of those guys they they quit comedy because they're really happy doing the the whole movie process and the television process. Um, if comedy is all you love and that's all what you want, you know that's all you want to do. Um, it's so hard to to, to even quit. Um, Andrew Dice Clay he still performs. I mean he may not make people laugh, but he just can't give it up. I mean, it's just something that he's just been born with, you know, that gift to just, just do comedy and that's all he knows, you know? So